What am I supposed to do? Just sit down there yep. like me? Mm -hmm. Welcome everybody to the 2003 NBA Draft Lottery. Every once in a while, there's one of these players out there that's, God, if you get that guy, you know you, I mean, to me, they stand out like a damn Klieg light as compared to a flashlight. Somewhere along the way, you look at a franchise and you say to yourself, we need a little good fortune. In 2003, before the draft lottery, I do, there was some gentleman who had a sheep or a goat. I don't know what the heck it was. <laughs> it was supposedly a good luck charm, OK? I wish they'd brought some deodorant to uh, spray on this thing. I was stunk. <laughs> Even to this day, I thought it was ironic that you could have people thinking a goat might help us to win the lottery. The first pick in the 2003 NBA draft goes to... We are extremely fortunate to have a man that's going to be heading up our basketball operations, so I'd like to turn it over to Jerry. It was my first year in Memphis. When you get to a franchise that's really struggled, it moved from Vancouver. The most games they'd ever won in the history of that franchise was 23 games. Nearly throws it away. That was a little reckless right now. That's a big, big miss right there, David. This was you know, a team that needed talent. Well, this draft in 2003, they had one there. players that was going to change the history of that franchise immediately. I just watched the best high school player I've ever seen at this stage in high school. And obviously the player that I'm talking about in 2003 is LeBron James. You know, everyone, oh my gosh. The newspapers in Memphis, almost like Christmas time, right? We're, we're going to get a big Christmas present. You know, I, you, you felt excited about it, but as I say, I, I, I didn't have a confident feeling at all we were going to win. There was a trade made, and it involved draft picks. The Vancouver Grizzlies have traded a future first-round pick to the Detroit Pistons for rebounding machine Otis Thorpe, who's averaged nine boards and 13 points a game through his 13-year NBA career. So they had put this caveat on this trade. Basically, the only way that we could have a draft pick is to win the number one pick. The gentleman who made the trade, who I knew real well, and a great guy. I would have loved to say to him, how in the hell can you make this trade? When you're bad, you don't want to risk yourself getting worse. It's just beyond my comprehension. We come to you tonight from the NBA TV studio, site of the 19th annual NBA Draft Lottery. Tonight's lottery involves the teams that did not make the NBA playoffs this year, and the lottery is weighted so that the team with the poorest record have the best chance of securing one of the top three picks. Now, trades over the last couple of years have added these permutations, and they are significant. Memphis's own pick, if not drawn number one, goes to Detroit. I had a chance to go to the lottery. The thing that was awful about it was the fact that if we missed we were had nothing to show for it. And now let's get right to the results. The 12th pick, the Seattle Supersonics. You need an enormous amount of luck anyway. The seventh pick goes to the Chicago Bulls. The sixth pick goes to the Los Angeles Clippers. It means Memphis has moved up. We have a contingent of people from Memphis there, and they were all sitting there with their hand fingers crossed and you could just see the anxiety level they had. The fifth pick goes to the Miami Heat. And the fourth pick 
the Toronto Raptors. So, the intrigue, maybe Maynard the Goat was the lucky charm for Jerry West. <laughs> now let's find out the real big winners tonight. The third pick goes to the Denver Nuggets. That means Cleveland or Memphis get number one. This one person can come into a city and change the view. Can you imagine what LeBron James potentially could have brought to Memphis? The phenomenon is taking over. This is for you. The second pick goes to the Memphis Grizzlies. And that means that the first pick in the 2003 NBA draft goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. When they announced the result, it was like one of these hot air balloons putting a needle in that, and that's what the collapse felt like. Probably the biggest disappointment, other than uh, as a player, when we lost a lot of championships, but this was a devastating time for the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, a couple of very different stories working here, Mr. Gunn. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. With LeBron James being from Akron, Ohio, I'm sure there has to be a lot of excitement in the organization. You know, we don't know who we're going to pick yet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if they would ask me a question and you didn't care because they say anything on TV today? This <laughs> the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. Forget LeBron James. We didn't get Dwayne Wade, which, which I love. From Marquette University. You start going back and you again see a devastating trade. The Denver Nuggets select Carmelo Anthony. Chris Bosch from Georgia Tech University. Do you have a message for Maynard the Lucky Goat? Rest in peace, Maynard. You didn't do your job. <laughs>